You may have heard of Project Avalanche for Unreal Engine, but if you're watching this, you're probably still wondering, what makes it such an incredible upgrade? Project Avalanche is a dedicated tool set for broadcast design and motion graphics, bringing real-time motion design tools to all 3D creators. We're going to go over the top 10 features of this toolbox today, so get ready, hit like and subscribe, and let's start the sim. Project Avalanche features 2D and 3D viewports, rulers and guides on the 2D viewport, plus dynamic lighting capabilities. There are new filtering systems and upgraded organization in the outliner, making it easier to handle projects, especially on a large scale, and there's a copy-pasting of properties between actors. The new capabilities also feature mesh or spline cloning, allowing users to sort patterns easily and position, rotate, and scale clones. This makes for quicker world building, backed by the Niagara system, and a new ability to use force effectors on clones. You can also use texture maps to direct animations, making it simpler than ever to create really cool effects with your projects. New geometry features make it easy to create a large array of 2D shapes, with options to extrude and bevel SVG shapes and graphics into 3D meshes. This means graphics can be turned into meshes with easy access to each part. Users will be able to layer and build designs similarly to art and photo composition softwares like Photoshop. Users have adjustments and blend modes, transformations, and can then animate things live. It creates a real node-based Unreal material that can be copied and used as a regular asset, making it simple to use these designs later. It gives users the ability to stay in UE instead of using multiple programs like in the past. You'll be able to favorite things from the details panel to use in the viewport to edit in context. No more constantly going through the property menus to mess with frequently used settings. Text features include new organization, easier font importing with previewing to save you time and hassle. There is also the ability to extrude and bevel text and apply different materials to different faces, as is common in other software. Project Avalanche will also be providing a new library of materials to start out in the hopes that users will have everything they need to get a project going. Easy animator tools have been added, including wiggle, bounce, and randoms. You can animate anything from letters and lights to regular meshes. The new features include a simple system with easy altering of lower thirds, text, color scheme, line size, and more. There's no coding required. Target any property with remote control and rigging logic and make changes live. This is absolutely perfect for broadcast entertainment media. There's a new thing called a SPAC file for offline sharing. It's a zipped file to send to collaborators that contains all the necessary files for the project. Each asset has a unique hash so duplicate data isn't sent back and forth. These changes mean a huge upgrade and truly allow users making all types of games and media to have an easier time making adjustments to project, especially live. What do you think of Project Avalanche? Let me know down in the comments below and as always, take care of yourself and each other.